When Rachel had born Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Send me away, that I may go to my own place and to my country. Give me my wives and my children for whom I have served you, and let me go, for you know my service with which I have served you. Laban said to him, If now I have found favor in your eyes, stay here, for I have divined that Yahweh has blessed me for your sake. He said, Appoint me your wages, and I will give it. Jacob said to him, You know how I have served you, and how your livestock have fared with me. For it was little which you had before I came, and it has increased to a multitude. Yahweh has blessed you wherever I turned. Now when will I provide for my own house also? Laban said, What shall I give you? Jacob said, You shall not give me anything. If you will do this thing for me, I will again feed your flock and keep it. I will pass through all your flock today, removing from there every speckled and spotted one, and every black one among the sheep, and the spotted and speckled among the goats. This will be my hire, so my righteousness will answer for me hereafter when you come concerning my hire that is before you. Every one that is not speckled and spotted among the goats and black among the sheep that might be with me will be considered stolen. Laban said, Behold, let it be according to your word. That day he removed the male goats that were streaked and spotted, and all the female goats that were speckled and spotted, every one that had white in it, and all the black ones among the sheep, and gave them into the hand of his sons. He set three days' journey between himself and Jacob, and Jacob fed the rest of Laban's flocks. Jacob took to himself rods of fresh poplar, almond, and plane tree, peeled white streaks in them, and made the white appear which was in the rods. He set the rods which he had peeled opposite the flocks in the watering troughs where the flocks came to drink. They conceived when they came to drink. The flocks conceived before the rods, and the flocks produced streaked, speckled, and spotted. Jacob separated the lambs and set the faces of the flocks toward the streaked and all the black in Laban's flock. He put his own droves apart and didn't put them into Laban's flock. Whenever the stronger of the flock conceived, Jacob laid the rods in front of the eyes of the flock in the watering troughs that they might conceive among the rods. But when the flock were feeble, he didn't put them in. So the feebler were Laban's and the stronger Jacob's. The man increased exceedingly and had large flocks, female servants and male servants, and camels and donkeys.